welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. This is uh, just a quick video and it's a, it's a, it's a recap um, because I found something out with the, and it's to do with the, that digital microscope um, with the screen that I, I purchased. Now in the a previous video when I was focusing the only way I could focus on this digital microscope was to put the item underneath and then nothing else would move um, and then lift the unit up and down that's where I thought with very little instructions um, and that's how it focused and I used it and I've used it several times since then but however I went onto a website the other day and the website in, um, was showing me the identical one and he was focusing using the it's like a uh, i'll show you in a moment the this um like a serrated part of the barrel of the actual microscope itself um so i thought uh, i'll have a look at that anyway took it out it comes out of the slot actually um tried to move it and i thought no mine can't be the same this does not move uh and i thought it must be correct how i've been using it however I come to I thought well I'm gonna actually um, probably break it but I'm gonna try and um, move it so I put a little bit more force on it and, and it moved but only like a couple of millimeters either side and I thought well I'm gonna have to have a look at it now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the unit and, and now and I'm going to show you how and um, what it was that was the problem with mine just to warn people that I did no idea that this would actually focus so you can lift it up to any height well maximum height that it will go to and still focus in I could only focus at the point low down um, with the knobs at the back because this barrel focusing point would not work anyway um, eventually I've got it to work so you can lift it up to the maximum and still focus on it so you get bigger picture um, but you can still focus okay so I'll take you over to microscope now and I'll show you right here we are at the microscope now um, and as you can remember I've actually focused on one of these um, where I was soldering the cables on okay now what I must show you I'll just take this out it's under the remote okay was that layer as you can see the knobs I would have to move it up and down to focus in because nothing else I could focus with only by doing that I didn't know there was a fault with the microscope to start off with um, there were very little, as I say, very little instructions. So I used to focus in with that. But you could only focus in really high end, which is, I think it's up to 1200. Um, but you could only get a small amount of the picture in on the actual um, base. So I'll show you now. I hope you can all see that. Now, this is just a lens cover that does come off. Now, there was also this gentleman was saying um, make sure your thumb wheel here works smoothly well you can see that turning now that I just thought that was a plastic barrel shroud that would not turn it was stuck solid I tried pushing it that way I thought no it's a cover it's gonna break and then I thought well never mind if it breaks it breaks and I pushed it to the right and it moved about a millimetre so I moved it back and it moved a little bit more and, and the more I forced it the more it moved and I thought yeah there's, there's something wrong here so you can see the the screws underneath there the little fingers pointing to it there's four of them I took that apart and took this mechanism out and what it was inside here had it somewhere it was 
a piece of plastic and only you can see that you can just see it between your fingers my new piece in it had a bit on the end as well which I couldn't find and that was stuck in the mechanism and that was jamming this from moving round so so in actual fact when you focus now I can lift it up to what position to its maximum and still focus which is absolutely but it's better than before uh, I can use it for a lot more things but I didn't know that so it's worth remembering that when anybody that purchases these make sure that that turns smoothly now that's lovely and smooth now that wouldn't move and it, it was strange when I was seeing people especially on this this gentleman on this website said just make sure that that moves because he had one and it was rather lumpy on moving so it jerked the focusing now whether he had something in it what same as me I don't know but that works absolutely smooth now so and, I, and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll do a bit of a recording and I'll show you what the difference means okay right I hope you can all see that I've turned it around right this is um, a part that I have on as you can see it's one of my printed boards that I use now if you look at that when I scroll in there look you can see by just turning that wheel now you can just that little bit of difference from the height of the wire to the height of the solder to the board so I can zoom in but I've only got a small part of that but if I take this up now which I could I could do this before I take it up but it go out of focus because I had no way of focusing okay so I can take that up to its maximum height which is there okay just hope you can all still see the picture and then I can still watch just turning that wheel you get more of a view and a picture okay crystal clear so this is just I had no idea this was this was faulty whatsoever and I just happened to and I still wouldn't know at this day but I just happened to catch somebody on a website because a lot of people have been asking about this um, for what I paid for it just over 20 quid and it's only to new um, sort of account openers for Temu because um, I can't even buy another one at this that price um, so it just goes to show that um, just check if you get one and you get one at the price I got it at make sure that that focusing wheel there runs smooth if it doesn't right there's bet your bottom dollar in there like I had, I had to take it apart and there were a piece of plastic all of it had to take apart a piece of plastic in there uh, and that solved the problem this is it's absolutely brilliant now um, I mean it's like I can put that piece of paper well no I'll put uh, this underneath it this is a little bit this is a 3d printed sign okay now as you can see that's out of focus there just from taking it off there but and I can't see that with it that's how the print on the bamboo labs has printed and you can see all in there so you can check go across yeah uh, look you can see where it finishes and starts how it infills everything um pretty good um as i say please just make sure that when you purchase one of these and you get it that that thumb wheel actually turns mine didn't uh, and it means a big difference it doesn't stop the, the actual um, unit from working but it depends on what position it's actually um, locked in to what height you'll get the focus so but make sure that that actually works as I say now that's the uh, the short video for me um, it's something that I stumbled across um, it's still good value for money 
um, can't fault it I've used it numerous occasions I can use it on a lot more things now um, things that I couldn't get underneath it before because obviously for focusing and um, now I can I mean you can probably get about oof, about three three inch something three inch underneath and still focus on it so there you go so let me know in the comments uh, below if you've had the same issue or if you've had an issue with one of these um, be interesting to see how many out there has had the same issue um, as I say this I stumbled across this gentleman had it and it were a bit lumpy on operating it but um, mine wouldn't move at all and, and I, pers <laughs> I proceeded to um, try and fix it and I did so I'm over the moon with that um, and, as, and don't forget like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and I put a link to the um, the uh, that side <laughs> I put a link to the previous video with this microscope so you can see that for those that haven't seen it uh, and as I always say in my videos be safe be careful and bye for now <laughs>